everyone to Creative Futures of 2014. This is our second annual Creative Futures and we hope to make this an annual event for many years to come. Um, we are really excited to see so many people here tonight, so thank you all for coming along. So we'd like to challenge the notion that only some people are creative. We all have profound creative capacities within us. Tonight is also about broadening our idea of what a career in the arts and technology may be. Tonight is an opportunity to experience some stories of people who are living their lives according to the talents that they have found within themselves. All of these speakers have pursued careers that have allowed them to follow their interests. We hope that these speakers encourage you to relentlessly pursue your interests and use your own talents to the best of your ability in whichever field your talents may lie. Thank you. sure that I never wanted to go to university. I was done with education, that's it. Um, all I knew was that I wanted to move up to the city, come and live in the big smoke, so I did that. Um, about two years after being here, I found myself working at venues, starting to put on uh, gigs for my friends' bands, kind of managing them, helping them tour around Australia a little bit. I thought, this is good, I like this, I want to make a job out of this. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I researched courses. There was a new course at Victoria University. Uh, it was a Bachelor of Business with a double major in Music Industry and Event Management. I went and did that. Uh, I did it part-time because I was working full-time. I had to support myself, which is good. You should have a job at university. Um, it was fantastic. I took every opportunity I could to volunteer, to intern, to get to know people. I also had the advantage of being a lot older than my other classmates at university. I'd taken a few years to figure out what I wanted to do, um, which meant that I was closer in age to the lecturers and tutors than my actual peers, um, which worked quite well for me. I got more out of the networking that I did at university than the actual classes that I attended. So network, get to know people. It is the one thing that if you take nothing else away from this tonight, you should always network. One thing a lot of people don't realise about design is that it actually um, it's quite a stable career and it pays quite well and it, for me coming back um, and doing a bit of study as mentioned earlier um, it's very reassuring to be able to, to subsidise that study with the design work that keeps coming in um, and it's such a stable industry as well so a lot of people don't quite realise exactly how big the industry is and and how it can really act as a springboard to other things. When I was um, in year 10 and year 11, year 12, year age, I, I didn't actually play music at all. So it's kind of a surprise to me to actually reflect back and think when I was your age and I was thinking what I could do for a career, I didn't even play music. I was interested in music and I had a musical family and maybe I was being a bit rebellious by not wanting to engage in new music because my dad was dying for me to play. But, um, and Somewhere the, the musicality in me, I think, was lying dormant and um, it, it did come, come out eventually. Do I want to do motion graphics design for the rest of my life? Um, maybe not. Um, I think I came to that conclusion uh, probably a few years ago. Um, it, it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard road, um, especially if you want to get good at it, and anything's a hard road. But not with saying that, I still will be doing some kind of design. Uh, it may not be motion graphics, but it could be you know, art direction of motion graphics or creative direction of motion graphics. So the way you navigate through your, through your career, even though you start out doing something, you'll then lead and jump to something else. Um, so it's just something you have to build upon. I never forget, I watched a documentary when I was probably in year 10, and it was about a man who worked in copyright for music in the US. And he was just talking about how he quickly worked out that's what he wanted to do. And, but there was only like, this probably only need like five people doing that in the whole of the US. But he was just like, that's all right, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing until I get there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it took him about six years to finally get into copyright. And I thought, that's all right. So I'm going to do, you know, costume until eventually I get where I want to go. And I, you know, I think I'm on the way. It's great. It's wonderful to be excited about what you do. One of the great aspects I found 
uh, with having a, a creative job like camera work is that you can gradually tinker away uh, at honing your craft. You can experiment, you can learn all the rules, and then you can learn when to break them. I've also had the opportunity to further my edit editing skills and to learn the satellite links truck and to direct live-to-air news bulletins, which is one of the scariest things in the world. 